A Radiothon is happening this week to help raise awareness about childhood hunger here in Southeast Michigan. On Thursday, WOMC will be broadcasting live from Gleaners in Detroit to help raise money for the food bank's mobile pantry. And here to talk about it, WOMC morning show host Bobby Mitchell and Stacy DeFord. Guys, thanks for coming in. Our pleasure. I know you guys are you're used to waking up early, <laughs> but I'm sure Sunday is a little painful for you, so we appreciate it. You go to early service today, honey. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. Well, Bobby, let's start with you. Just tell us what this this whole radiothon really is all about. Well, it's WOMC's Children's Hunger Radiothon to benefit Gleaners Community Food Bank, presented by Kroger. Uh, we, I think, we should just call it Tommy's Radiothon because Tommy is a kid in our neighborhood. Uh -huh. Tommy is a kid. He's the one in five kids in Michigan yeah. who's hungry. Yeah. Tommy is the one of two kids in Michigan who gets mm -hmm. free or reduced fee school uh, school mm -hmm. uh, lunches, breakfasts and lunches. Tommy is a kid whose parents have to decide whether they, you know, put food on the table or heat the home. Yeah. That's what Tommy's parents have to choose. Tommy is, uh, a lot of people think Tommy's in Detroit, and he is in Detroit. Tommy is also in Oakland County, a Livingston County, places. Macomb, Monroe. Tommy is our neighbor. Mm -hmm. He's here, and we need to help him because Tommy is hungry. No, so it's kind of, although the shirt says Children's Hunger Radio yeah. Fund, you know, these stats, these numbers have faces and they have they names. Do. Tommy is just one of the kids. They but, do. And yeah. you think about, too, we were talking, you know, so many kids, really, that meal that they get at school yes. is the one that they can depend on. And then summer hits, too. And that's that's another challenge when for they go so many families. The weekends, the, weekends, yeah. the summer, absolutely. That's why we have the backpack programs. This new one we're very excited about is the school fund uh, mobile pantry. This is where... Local pantries may not be in your neighborhood. There may not be a pantry right there. And so the mobile unit comes to take it, you know, so that you can uh, actually get food right close to home. Yeah, they send out once a month to as many areas as possible, but it costs $10,000 a year to fund a mobile pantry. So we would like to really get those as, in as many areas as possible because it's so, and it's, and it's good, it's 35 pounds of food. We yeah. were handing out 35 pound boxes of food. Rice, grain, pasta, potatoes, fresh oh, vegetables everything. and fruit. And so meat. how can people really be, you know, one of these hunger heroes? What will that mean? What do they have to give? Well, the radio thought, obviously any gift is great, yes. but we're looking for sustaining pledges because that way yeah. cleaners like any organization wants to plan for the year. So mm -hmm. we're asking for people to donate $20 a month, you know, mm -hmm. and Kroger is matching it. Usually it's a dollar equals three meals. Now it's a dollar mm -hmm. equals six meals. So $20 yeah. is 120 meals. So that goes such a long way. And, and so get... if you, if you become a sustaining member on Thursday mm -hmm. during our radiothon, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look how many groceries this would hold, and it's insulated. So plus, Channel Seven has donated these. We <laughs> yeah, thought this would we, be if we, we could just three of them for you. call <laughs> now, friends. But no, but Thursdays are a big day. Six a.m. Right. Right. to seven p.m. Yes. Six to seven p.m. And then, what's it like for you guys to, to be involved in this? I mean, you really make such a difference. Well, you meet so many volunteers. The, the hunger hero. They they don't wear capes, but their superpower is love. Like little Hannah McKellar. She's eight years old. Over the summer, she had her fourth lemonade stand for gleaners. Her oh, fourth. Wow. That means she started when she was four. Beth Bailey is, uh, she just got married last year. Her bridal party, and instead of having a traditional bridal party, you know, they had, uh, they were husking corn and sorting dry goods there at Gleaners Warehouse. It's, there are people out there who get it, because Gleaners is passionate, they're committed, they know, and every, that's why CEOs at Pepsi and Kroger and Ameriprise Financial and Quicken Loans, they all get there, and their employees get yeah. behind Gleaners because they're a winner and they get the job done. They absolutely do, and thank you so much for your your part in all of this and making a difference. In Listen our on Thursday. Yes, we will all be day. listening. That's for sure. On Thursday, February 2nd, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. We will be right back.